having my works exhibited in the Veterans Art Gallery here is, I'm very honored. I'm very proud too because I'm representing as a military artist. Also, I'm representing for the fashion department. This is in inspired by my friend, also my classmate. Like, I loved my time in the military, but it was a little bit constrained, and now I feel um, a lot freer being able to express myself through painting. And um, I really enjoy that that's being embraced. It's not like looked down upon the fact that I want to do painting now. I like that other people felt ways that might not necessarily have been the way that I originally meant the painting to be, if that makes any sense at all. I had pretty unhealthy outlets, uh, you know, and painting has really helped me focus. Uh, you know, now I feel I'm like the healthiest I've ever been in my life. And so having this outlet has completely changed my life. Like art and being able to focus emotions um, and also like focus my attention on like these very specific, uh, this very specific intent um, has really helped me uh, just lead a healthier life. And it makes me a lot happier as a person. An artist can do anything, you know, from flowers to paintings to sculpture. Uh, you can have a picture of you and your mother. I think that's really good because uh, after the service, uh, folks get drawn in different, different areas of interest, whether it be painting or photography. I'm Roger Elliott. I'm with the Academy of Arts. I'm in the Bachelor of uh, Fine Arts Photography program. Uh, hoping to go on to get my master's in fine art in photography. I'm actually retired from the Coast Guard of 27 years and it was about a year or two after that that I finally picked up another camera and found out that this was sort of a passion and people liked my work. So that was a big surprise for me. It's nice to meet people and learn from them and know that they're still there. You know, and they think just like you, you do and they've been through the experiences that you've been through in your life. So for me, this is, this is a, a truly remarkable experience in my life. It's something that I will not forget any time short. I put a little bit of my own heart and soul into this piece. Uh, my own experiences, um, the emotions, the stress, the demons that, that I fight with my own head every day. Um, this is how I know how to get it out. And if it can help someone else like it helps me, then I'm all about it. Being a veteran and uh, being able to have uh, work on display here during Fleet Week of all things, uh, it's a great honor. Uh, it's fantastic to be with uh, other brothers and sisters in arms, you know, people that have uh, put on the uniform. Be able to bring our friends and our family to events like this, uh, as well as network and meet these other uh, artists, but also veterans, you know, because we have that common bond. It's a, it's a big deal and it feels really good. You know, lots of uh, thanks and appreciation to you know, all the people behind the scenes that, that put this on for us and, and give us uh, you know, a little moment in the sun. You know, just today, someone came to me and said, uh, you know, I've been the guy you know, on, on an air transport getting ready to go into battle. And that, that intensity and that quietness um, that he felt from this image um, made me think about what he was, was experiencing. Um, and, and you know, your heart just goes out to these, these men and women who continue to put the uniform on to this day and go out there and, and um, you know, sacrifice so much, as well as their family. Um, so, so veteran feedback is, is one of the, the best forms of feedback that I can possibly get. So 